Emerging markets are a great source of opportunity when it comes to doing business in the future. Here on Into Business, we have Maxi opened Broad, for example, in Uganda, and it's so successful that they're opening a second one in Rwanda. Hi, Max. What is your reasoning of doing business in emerging countries like Uganda and Rwanda? So there's many, many good reasons actually to do business in uh, in Africa and especially in East Africa, I believe. And uh, a sense of adventure, a possibility to have an impact, but mostly. In first instance, it's just a sense of opportunity. There are so many opportunities to do things better in uh, in a country like Uganda, and in our case, that was uh, better bread. Uh, it was simply not just it wasn't there. So just bringing good bread there is, was a yeah, huge gap in the market, and I think we filled it. Yeah. So you made the leap from Europe to uh, Africa, but how can you make it profitable there? Um, well, uh, if you have a good product and you maintain your quality, I think you can ask a premium price, especially because maybe competition is not that uh, tough yet. And uh, what we did, uh, I think uh, it's very important also to work with a local partner who can deal with uh, um, uh, institutional things uh, down there. And uh, lastly, having your controls in place. So make sure you got everything very uh, strict because working culture there is quite different and you can't just rely on people very easily, is my experience. What would you advise to young entrepreneurs who want to start a business in emerging markets? Uh, really look at where your added value can be and uh, also engage the people there. What we did, we sent our bakers uh, to the Netherlands, uh, give them very elaborate training, um, so invest in your quality. And uh, what's also very important is to work with local partners because they know really how it works there and uh, can help you so, so much. Okay, well, thank you very much, Max. And for more business items, check out Interconnection.